Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saikon and today we're going to fight the last battle against the Hunter. It's time for the no short run where we're not supposed to use any shots or explosives. So I brought four uh, brave Psy operatives and uh, Hogbite plus a healer. And that is all we got. We got a melee immune regenerating Hunter. And I can tell you only one uh, side is going to leave this fight. How about we're starting, getting a tiny bit closer, oh boy, fear of mutants. We can definitely use the codex. So what we're going to do is we're going to dominate the Codex. Your will is weak. That's a fantastic ally because Psionic Bomb is definitely allowed. Absolutely. In the meantime, let's just nuke this mutant. We do not have much use for him. Unfortunately, his corpse does not count for Ghost. I hope it's worth it. Yeah, let's move over here. Just a normal soul fire. Low cooldown. And just melt them down. Done deal. Okay, so I got one. Cool. Like I said, unfortunately not exactly what we were looking for. Uh, a, a normal advent would have been better because we go, would have go, go. already been able to summon the ghost. But okay. Uh, sometimes you can not have it all. A few more rounds until we got our cooldowns back, and then I would say, on it. then we're ready Closing on target to charge now. in. Move, move, move. In the meantime, everybody just moves a little bit closer. All right, one round, and we're looking for reset of the cooldowns. Two more rounds. And this is either going to be super good or we're going to be uh, having a really, really tough time. Heading out. This should not trigger. Very good. The reason why I'm I am going. moving there is I want to get I'm all the wrong. way to the ledge. I'm going. Moving on target location. All right. Good. Time to get that party started. Hmm. What's over there? Moving up. And this triggers the actual fight. You're not Well He is immune to melee right, Dennis, you know to and uh, he also regenerates. So what we want to do is as much damage as possible to prevent him from yeah grappling getting back up so we're just teleporting up here to give him extra targets
I know that he's not going to stay there. And his weapon is unfortunately also unaffected. Good, he's completely immune, but at least uh, mm, we've removed all of the cover. We're going to parry in the hopes of uh, of him not yeah, knowing that. Let's start with... Oh, hmm. Should've probably amplified before we um, work with him. It is what it is now. And yes, uh, insanity does not work on him. So, so far it is. Edgar Alien Poe. There is a chance that he's going to grapple onto the other side. Your mind is your weakness. We're trying to unload as hard as possible on him without uh, actually using our Null Lens uh, mm, cooldowns. All right, he takes quite a decent amount of uh, damage. But you can also see just how many hit points he has. It's going to take more than a few wounds to slow me down, Commander. Yeah. Really want to save uh, the Null Lens and the Void Rift for the extra actual sarcophagus. So what else can we use in order to bring him down? We do have um, Hogbite's um, ability to, to simply use his force and uh, thus deal damage that that should be that should be a decent additional damage i'm just not 100 percent convinced that we will have enough damage to to fully get him down right i want to save the null lens so bad would it be possible to use void rift Let's try to do it without. I really want to uh, get him down. Better get ready. Things are about to get even more lively around here. Good. Let's hope the mechs are actually moving and not just overwatching. Uh, unfortunately not. Yeah, we should have had uh, should have mind shields against that. We could go with capacitator discharge, which should hit him as well. Not a bad idea. We need to deal damage to him. Quite explicitly so. I think that that's not a bad idea. Give him a shock. All right, solidly discharged. Not a perfect time uh, uh, to now use Void Rift, but then again, 
There is, I think, no perfect timing for Void Rift. All right, I'll go. I wanted to save it for the actual sarcophagus. Problem that I'm seeing is we might not have enough steam to get through him. Just out of curiosity, the arc wave still does not deal damage to him, right? Right. Alright, this guy is dead. A point in... In continuing, well, then explosion would not be too bad. Uh, that would uh, deal damage if the chosen would actually stand in the explosion. That is. I mean, we can certainly work with Hawkbite, right? And inspire him. Like I said, we're having a lot of damage with Hogbite, sustained damage, but probably lacking that same amount of sustained damage with our Psy abilities. All right, let's continue. Still parrying. It takes one to know one. I never forget a face, much less one that left me wounded. Watch your well, back. No explosions that would reach him, unfortunately. And to save the null lens. Couple more turns until soul fire is back up. Question is. the right decision we theoretically could shred him with this and that's that's not bad either yeah let's use no yes yeah, use the void rift uh, we're still having all of the null lenses for the sarcophagus. There's a chance for shredding him. Not a very big one. I'm on it. Again, we can inspire quite a bit. But the biggest problem is we cannot fully get it, him down. It would be fantastic if we could work stasis on the Chosen, then the whole thing would be simple. We would just permanently put him into stasis, then nuke him down, put him in stasis again and die. Alright, this here is more a bait than anything else. I don't really think that we can do anything uh, with uh, the Codex until the cooldown is back. So that's pretty much the end of the turn, unless I want to use Null Lenses, which I do not want to use. Void Rifts. I mean, we could go with Void Rifts and then strictly leave the Null Lenses for later. I think that that is fair. Not a lot of damage, but it is enough to counter his stupid regeneration. Welcome the boy. And you gotta make trade-offs uh, with just with Soulfire 
we would fight him for quite a while. This way at least we're dealing some damage. I'm coming for you. This is my specialty. Nice little critical hit. Potentially 15 points of damage. Volt is not really that much. He just has a lot of hit points for the love of it. Good, moving over here. We gotta continue to at least deal some damage. This fog your face. You got my attention, Templar. All right. So moving I again into full cover. Common protocol. And the next time, the next time that uh, the soul uh, bolts are coming around, which is going to be soon ish. Soul fire, two more rounds. We should be fine. Oh, fight. We'll be inspired. You know what? By thinking about it, maybe. We're just vaulting him all the way down. I can't let that slide. Problem with Hopbite is that he's losing um, focus as we're doing that. Yeah, Storm is not strong enough at this point. Two, four, five. Good chance that we're actually killing him. Let's try it. Not bad, not bad. It appears this device functions in a similar fashion. A bit to the stupid if you think about it, because like Hokba is just shooting laser after laser after laser. But I suppose you got to do what you got to do, right? Let's blow it to hell. Teleporting over here. It is clear. Moving up. And let's sure thing. just try to use our null lenses right away. There is no escape. The faster we use them, the faster we get the cooldown back. 13 hit points. See, that's much better than the last time. The last time that we did that, we did not have the upgraded um, Psy Amps. Hence, this whole thing took much, 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 much longer. Yeah, we're at least going to go through uh, two cycles here. Interesting.
Okay, cool. Well, let's maybe start with this here. That removes the uh, mobile watch. Weapon nicely disabled. Moving to position. Moving up. And this here is potentially going to take over the mech. Or stun it. You know what? Let's take it over. Alright, to be fair, neither would have worked. Good, we're moving up. Unfortunately, these guys spawned at the exact oppo uh, opposite uh, location. Thing up here yep we would okay cool What's over there? so let's move over All will suffer. and let's hit the sarcophagus that's the most important thing we gotta deal as much damage as possible and get the null lenses on cooldown Fantastic. One more round of uh, those attacks and pretty sure we're good to go. We will overcome. All right, inspiration. Let's hit this guy. Fantastic, we're getting focus back because we need it. Let's parry. And let's use the first mimic beacon. Got another one, so we're fine. That's exactly why I didn't want to have those negative traits. Oh, I never tire of this feeling. I could do this all day, all decade, all eternity. Double move. Let's get this done. Both of them were clever enough to move out of the bomb. Nope. Only one of them was clever enough to move out of the bomb. The other one just decided to die. Okay, let's move over here. Really not much that we can do, specifically since Haywire Protocol is on cooldown. Full cooldowns um, over here. Gotta get some more 
uh, focus is going to be the most important thing. We could explode, um, which is not a bad idea. You can also start to nuke down the hunter because we will need to go through a lot of um, cooldowns. All right, Thesis on the heavy mech for now. And we're going to start molesting him. Not a bad shot, considering the shooter. On the move. Good, we're moving over here. My mind is my weapon. And we're starting to throw everything but the kitchen sink towards this guy. Pretty decent damage overall. That stings a little. Heading up. My mind is my the problem is always, I mean, if we had so far everything around, this year would be easy. Challenge is more uh, to survive the time between the cooldowns. Good, and we're going to give a protocol to Darktown Oxus because I do have the dumb feeling that he's going to grapple over here and might want to take a shot. Really nothing that we can do. Excuse uh, 6 is just waiting. It's time to be the eldest proud. I've got help coming, Commander. Luckily, the panic will disappear at the end of the turn. Alright, he's going to take his first shot. Let's try something else. Or not. Maybe not. Let's make this clean. My cover will only hold so long. Okay. Without them knowing, however. They've brought themselves into an interesting position because now what we can do is, number one, continue to keep that additional guy here in stasis and take care of him next turn. And number two, these guys here do all carry explosives. So for once, it's actually really working out nicely. And not only with one bit of explosive, I hope it's worth it. but we're moving up and there should be a second set of explosives. Yep, damn right. Wow, would have never guessed that that actually would be a usable and good ability. Good, let's start making our way into their ranks. Hmm. I wonder, I think this year might be the best chance to get both of them down. Nice. 
Good. Carrying. Alright. Absolutely. Moving a tiny bit back. And let's give some inspiration over to Hogbite. Well, but this time is a pretty different fight than uh, we would normally do. By the way, we got a ghost ability. Okay, good. We gotta, oh, we gotta take that. But not with two. We need to do it with three focus. All right, we already got one parry. Ah, another Templar cultist, feigning knowledge of a power they barely understand. Good. We could simply go over here. And let's not cluster up too much. This is fine. We need to do anything really. So hey, let's hunker down and end the turn. Go on already. Kill all of the humans. I hope you're not expecting me to go down that easy. Let's try a new angle. Okay, so what's his plan? Pleasantries. That's an interesting one. One of our soldiers is in a daze. We need to snap That's him out of it. That's pretty much the only one who could have uh, gotten dazed. This might sting a little. All right, so Hogbite moves over here. Ghost. Mainly to have that extra blade storm. And so to speak, an extra mimic beacon. Yeah, we. I will continue using Fuse here, although we also have Inspire. Mainly because we can shred him completely. Not that it really matters. Good teamwork for Inspire. Luckily, uh, the mechs actually have two explosives on them. So we pretty continuously can deal damage. Not a lot, but it sort of adds up. Now he's already at uh, zero armor. No more fusing here, but we can power. inspire. Boy, oh boy, such a complicated gameplay. Normally it is straightforward, uh, just healing damage. But this time we're slinging spells left and right. I love it. Okay, we're hunkering down. Really nothing that we can do here. No cooldowns ready. We'll wait. Moving up, mainly for the blade storm, and these two guys should be fine, so might as well just hunker down. 
And that's the end of turn. What should we try this time? Only the armor. A trick up my sleeve. Say good night. Interesting. Sort of curiosity, yep, we could theoretically revolt him. Alright, we're still tanking this guy. That was a nice trick, Templar. Good, Perry. Quite a few fuses, but none of them really work. As for the Templar Ghost, let's just park him over here. It still has Bladestorm. I don't want to waste healing on it, so let's just leave it where, it, uh, where it's at. Can't fully destroy this guy if we're not going all in. Enter the rift. So time for some void rifts, then some more uh, soul fires, and hopefully he will go down. Gotta admit he's a pretty annoying fellow. Good, we're down to almost getting him. Yeah. Okie dokie, 30% and he's down. Yeah, we don't need anything. Nicely parried that shot. That was good. Hmm, we could amplify, but we're low on focus, so we really gotta milk him for more focus before doing anything. You call that power? The tissue melts away. Well, it is what it is. Slowly but surely, we're getting him down. Not a beautiful fight, but I'm now more than ever convinced that it was the right decision to take four Psy Operators with me, just to make that dilemma, uh, make that less of a dilemma here. I can't let that slide. I'm inside your head. Four, six. Well, so that's what that feels like. You know, one the one thing that we could do is vault him. Potentially level. We're going all out. Down to three. That was a nice trick, Templar. The enemy should fear us. It's Hawkbite's turn again. And I think we should be fine. Elastic strike. 
Ooh, close one. We gotta kill him one more time, though. With the amount of energy housed in that capacitor, I fear the Chosen can continue the regeneration process indefinitely. I do not believe we can simply wear them down. Understood. We need to make destroying it our top priority. Good. Just realizing that Psionic Bomb apparently damages that as well. That's a lot of damage, so... I'm definitely down for it. Well, wait. The Chosen can be poisoned. Not sure if we might want to mind control the Chrysalid. Because the Chosen can be poisoned. No armor will shield you. But before we even entertain those thoughts, let's first of all get rid of that sarcophagus. Good. I think we will get it this rotation. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll get it this rotation. We will so get it this rotation. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. With the capacitor damaged, the regeneration process has been interrupted. I believe now would be the appropriate time to take them out. And you know what to do. Take that creature down. Good. Moving over. I think that the chrysalid would be the better choice due to its poison. You will break. That completely counteracts uh, the regeneration. Fantastic. A strike. On top of which, if we actually manage to kill something, we might be able to spawn little mini chrysalids. To be entirely honest, I've never fully done that. I know that you can do it with a gatekeeper uh, when you're spawning zombies and you're essentially just killing off civilians and so on and so forth and all of the zombies will stay with you. This is incredibly strong, but not against that chosen here. Fantastic. Some more focus. Now that wasn't supposed to happen. And just when I was stopped, nope, I was that like, was not supposed to happen. But I can tell you, we have another null lens left over. And once you take null lens damage, things are looking quite a bit different. Okay, let's uh, start. Wow, the nasty sounds. Good, well... Can't really do much about the chosen. I want to get some more uh, focus for now. Is 
There we go. That's exactly what we were looking for. The ghost um, can indeed use Ionic Storm or could just Amplify and then Volt. Amplify would deal extra damage over the next few turns, so that, yeah, that that way we have uh, used all of the abilities of uh, the ghost and all of its focus. You got my attention, Templar. The elders have done much worse. Okay. Well, can we inspire Hopbite? Nope, we can't. All right, end of turn. Things are about to get even more interesting around here. Good. Unfortunately, he decides to back off and uh, get away got a few toys of my own. I've got something for you can you hear it? very good the blissful silence for once the elders are quiet I thank you if I wasn't still compelled to hmm. kill you. All right, we got... Um, we got Inspire. So... Let's start taking down this fool here. Overwatch removed for everyone. Also got uh, full uh, focus for once. All right, I'll go. You know, instead of explosion, let's just hand over an inspiration. Why can't we see? Oh, right. You kidding me? On your order. All right, the chrysalid is really the only one that you could regularly see. That is so sad. Good, we're going to do friendly fire even if it hits the crystal, it doesn't matter. Well, the frame rate just dropped. Not a hundred percent sure. Oh, I see. Ooh, that's a funny uh, combination. So what happens is if we let this explode, uh, that essentially counts as if they would have used um, their grenade ability. And that means Bladestorm is being triggered. There we go. Good, hop 
Oh, the arc wave is killing the chrysalid. Well, never mind. It was fun as uh, long as it lasted, your chrysalid. But you were at, uh, at the wrong place at the wrong time. So that's a bit unfortunate for the chrysalid. Good, moving up. Time for some soul power in order to get him finally down. Ooh, that will be so, so valuable and rewarding once we're actually killing him. Fantastic. This is starting to get interesting. But can't see him anywhere. Moving over. And let's hope that this here is going to be enough to actually get him down. Potentially not. But we got another Inspire, so... Here we go. Chain Lightning, Chain Cannon. Let's Inspire Hogbite again. And we haven't even taken damage, right? No, I think we're, we were fine. We actually flawless the entire mission. <laughs> what a shameful display from the Chosen. The Hunter finally goes down. And with him, the last Chosen. We are ready, guys. Ready to finish this campaign. Very good. Yeah, we actually flawless it. Ooh, so satisfying. Took almost an hour again to fight against the Chosen, but only two iterations uh, thanks to Null Lands. Very good. So, so good. That was a rewarding mission. Got his Dark Lands, got the Dark Claw, not that it really matters. A glorious battle. But yeah, everyone is happy. Ooh. Yeah, both of our Psy Operatives finally get to the maximum bond level well that is worth it also negative trade re removal hmm, that is so much better it's almost like um, it's almost like being forced to play incredibly defensive the entire time and then Avengers, all of a sudden a new course uh, you managed to like sh uh, shrug off that entire weight that was um, that was holding you back. Fantastic. Yeah, the two can definitely continue their training. I don't think that we're going to see either of the other uh, two psi operatives on any further mission. It was fa uh, fun when we were able to play with them. We had some wounded soldiers requiring treatment after that last covert action. With a few days rest, they'll be ready to get back Good. into Good, fantastic. It. Well... Got some health here and there. 
Got some hacking. I mean, hacking is fine. Not particularly great. Help is good. Intel is not needed at this point. So I suppose alien loot plus help. Oh wait, this here only takes eight days, six days. Okay, we're going to go with the lowest uh, time that is required. And let's put Roby on here. Mainly because Roby already has all of uh, the defensive stats and might as well give him some more help. My kind will do whatever is needed. Okay, here we go. Extra loot, no. Intel, no. Yeah, there's really nothing that we need. I mean, at this point, we have 5,500 supplies and everything else kind of in the 300 plus. It's almost looked like, uh, look uh, as if I would have added to the save game. Uh, we don't want that to happen. We also really don't want that to happen. And I think this here is the second month where it appears, so might as well go and do the mission. How much longer will we need overall? Like, what's the goal now? Um, Research is proceeding the adaptive as PCS, fine. We don't need the hunter weapons. That's not really an issue. The elders of all so three more days, and then we're going to go and have most eight days for the suit, and nine days for the avatar, and then we can Even actually the finish the entire campaign. So maybe one or two more uh, small, their from the eye. one or two more small um, covert ops. But on the other hand, here's the thing. I don't want to drag anything out, so I guess what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to ignore that. Uh, the dark events really don't bother me too much, and we're just going to continue. That's fine. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Yeah, we haven't even lost the region. Nothing. No impact. Coming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. While I recognize that you've Good. been we've killed in a every single one of them. Commander, our continued failings over the last month have left many in the resistance okay. concerned. <laughs> Nothing short of a vast improvement will do. We continue to progress in our campaign against ten percent more experience. Not that I think it really makes a difference. As a result, I understand. Uh, very soon we're going to be done with the research. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. Good. Don't need the hunter weapons, like I said. We're continuing with the stasis suit, and then we're going to just bully our way through and hopefully get to the second last mission soon. What else can we take? Dodge plus eight is not bad. Dodge plus nine is fantastic. Mobility plus one isn't bad either. 13 ability points certainly isn't bad. So, still negative trade recovery. 
It's fine, Hogbite is fast enough. Might as well give Roby one extra mobility. Just to make him competitive, he's getting all of the nice benefits. Good. And I think we can just continue scanning. It's interesting to see that even the secondary Psy operatives now get like all of the very, very nice abilities. So we don't need to do the UFO. Just ignore it. We're losing that area. Okay, Local that's fine. Forces in this Let's make contact and done. All negative traits removed. That is good. Let's see what else we can do. Maximilian Richter gets his traits removed. And we're soon ready. continue to make progress on the avatar project if we're going to slow them good down, level we'll three bond for our psi operators that was important and it's kind of the last puzzle piece so to speak got another bond training everybody seems to get uh, more bond experience now Probably uh, because we killed all of the chosen. I suppose, that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Fantastic. Good. I think we had another dodge plus nine. And if we put it on Roby, he is potentially almost at 100 dodge soon we'll get the job done don't worry commander uh very soon we're going to have all of the research i think it's eight more days so it nicely fits in with the covert ops uh, schedule we are now prepared to autopsy the body of the powerful being we recovered commander that we may be Good. On the Let's go. Avatar Autopsy. Rushing through it. Commander, the aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar project. Taking out that facility would deal with oh, serious come on. blow to Don't force efforts. me to do another Commander, facility. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. The game is being a little bit mean. Another retaliation uh, side. Yeah. Don't care. Commander, resistance forces in this region are in hiding as a result of recent setbacks. Long live the resistance. Good. They are back from hiding and the game is sort of forcing me to still do it we're going to slow them down we'll need to move fast let me take care of that really quick i'm just going to solo run uh, that and uh, we're continuing afterwards okay fantastic finger on the trigger let's go the destruction of this facility marks an important step towards the total elimination of the avatar let's go commander so your team is to be commanded that was a quick and dirty i want to make sure that we're um, skipping the not so interesting content such as just running through that and Avengers instead going to finalize the run 
We're almost there. Bond level increased. That's fantastic. There is even one more bond that can be upgraded. Good. And I think once we're done with the research it here, easy. we're now theoretically Something capable of doing the last mission. Beyond anything we have ever seen. Hunter and weapons somehow. are not needed. New objectives added. Very good. We're making progress, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on Just the one more day progress. until the Covert Ops mission is done, and I think then we're ready to go. We have the target site locked in, Commander. This is our chance to strike at Advent's heart. Once we control the network tower, we can finally show the world what the aliens are doing. There's no turning back Good. after this. I'm glad to see our joint so, effort paid off like we hoped. Commander, let's take a look at our forces for idle. the last we mission. The to spare, we should deploy them on a covert action with the uh, We're going to definitely take a uh, hog bite here. PCS plus three mobility. Yep. The elders have taken a great deal from our His, Comrade in crime is Roby, superior speed. And we're going to give him the katana, mind shield, mimic beacon. Good. So that's our front line. PCS, should we give him superior conditioning? Not sure. What we could do is we could... Superior speed, okay. I'm just freeing up superior speed um, items at this point. Okay, so I think we're going to give both of them superior speed. They do have plenty hit points. And they do have sustenance, so it's really not a problem. Their psi power is really, really high. Gifted is fantastic. That's just overall absolutely gorgeous. Gifted and gifted in combat intelligence, 18, 98 and 100. I think that's absolute maximum. So we were lucky with both of them. And yeah, certainly both will uh, be with us in the last mission. Mimic Beacon Mind Shields, probably the combination to go. Having those extra Mimic Beacons never hurt. From an armor perspective, let's think about it. I think we're going to give Roby the serpent suit. Or alternatively, we're giving him this suit. Yeah, I think that that makes sense because with it, he can hunt uh, the uh, chosen in the last map. And with that suit, that should work out very, very well. Who's going to take the spider suit then? We're, we're just uh, doing the loadout here. So I think second mimic beacon would make sense. Uh, the Rage Suit really does not make a lot of sense in that particular run here. Yes, gives you one additional strike plus repositioning and is quite sturdy, but that's really it. Uh, I like the Grapple ability and the Frostbite certainly is good as well, but not sure if I 
if we if we really need it. As a specialist, Sona is going to um, work with the team. And I think besides Nanomed Kit, which is kind of a given. We're almost looking at another uh, Mimic Beacon. Almost looking at that extra Mimic Beacon. Where is my last Mimic Beacon? Come on! There we go. No, th those are mine shields. My bad. There it is. Finally. Okay, back to what I was uh, thinking. I guess another Mimic Beacon would make sense. Yeah, not that the Disrupt the Rifle or the weapon on Roby really makes a difference because we're not going to take a shot. But yeah, it just looks pretty damn good, so might as well use it. So yeah, that's going to be the team for the final mission. Let's equip kind of the secondary team. Um, and in order to order build commander. something for them, do we have another Mimic Beacon? No, we can't. We got four Mimic Beacons and we've used them all in the primary group. And that, you know what, that's fine. That's okay. So, for the other soldiers, uh, Tracy Elliott, so Zane and Debot are going to go in. So we are... Going to use the school check for the three-man mission. That is pretty helpful. Divert here. Can use uh, the fusion axe. Might give him uh, that uh, suit. Plus a mine shield. And then if we're using Ranger plus uh, Specialist, it's going to be our third, um, our th fifth wheel, so to speak. Might as well use our Templar here. Yeah, she doesn't really need anything. Might as well make her extra tanky. And that's it. That's going to be kind of the second last and the last mission. Uh, train abilities, anything that we could get, still at 24. Might as well give sonar something. Lightning reflexes could be an option. Anything that Roby needs. Deep cover is okay. That's not bad. The bonus critical strike uh, after revealing is actually quite nice. So let's take that and give sonar lightning reflexes. And that's pretty much eating up all of our costs. Good. Now we're finally at the end. One hour, 15 minutes. That was a pretty long 
uh, but also pretty fast uh, series we're going to have the last mission uh, more the two last missions in our next episodes thank you for watching guys if you enjoy the run leave comments uh, down below uh, to uh, share your opinion about it and um, see you in the last two missions bye bye